There's love in every bit of the mishmash. The Giselle Mishmash! Hi, I'm Giselle. Welcome to the Giselle Mishmash, where we'll have a whole mishmash of fun learning together. I'm sorry if I'm speaking a little loud. My ear is blocked and it's hard to hear. I don't know what is stuck in my ear. Do you see anything? Oh, maybe there's water in my ear. Does that ever happen to you? Oh, maybe if I shake my ear, it will come out. Oh, it's still blocked. Let me try again. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Oh, I found something in my ear. It's a toy mouse. Mm, this toy mouse belongs to my kitten, Marble. What's it doing in my ear? Well, I better return it to Marble. Marble, I found your toy mouse. Ziku, are you ready for your dentist appointment later this afternoon? Oh yeah, I can't wait for the dent. Giselle? Mm-hmm. What's a dentist? Oh, a dentist is a doctor who helps to keep your teeth and your mouth healthy. Oh, I've never been to the dentist before. Right. Oh, uh, well, I could show you what the dentist will do. Oh, okay. All right, well, um, well, first the dentist will, would like to see your smile. Can you smile for me, Ziku? Sure. Oh, that's a beautiful smile, Ziku. Thank you. And then the dentist would probably want to count your teeth. So I can use my toothbrush it's here somewhere. Oh, here it is. I can use my toothbrush to count your teeth. Oh, okay. Okay, so let's see. Will you count with me? Great, let's count Ziku's teeth. Okay, here we go. One, two. Ziku, you have two teeth. I have two teeth? Mm-hmm, that's right. Oh, let me show you. Uh, here we go. Okay, here, see? Oh, yeah, let's see, there you go. One, two, two teeth. Wow. How many teeth do you have, Giselle? Oh, um, I have um, 32 teeth. You have 32 teeth? And I have two teeth? Right, but I'm also a lot older than you. And I go to the dentist. So the dentist helps to make sure that my teeth grow. Oh, I want to go to the dentist, Giselle. Oh yeah? Uh-huh. I want my teeth to grow. Right, well, it takes some patience for your teeth to grow, but going to the dentist is a start to growing healthy teeth. Oh, can we go now, Giselle? Oh, well, Ziku, your dentist appointment is not until later this afternoon. Oh, I can't wait to go to the dentist, Giselle. <laughs> Once upon a time, there lived a green llama. And the llama had found a huge pile of hay. And along came a pink llama who said, oh wow, that looks delicious. May I have some of your hay? And the green llama spat at the pink llama and said, uh, no, this is my hay. I am going to eat it all by myself. And he put the hay on his back. And the poor pink llama was all soaking wet and trotted away hungry. And then along came a blue llama. And the blue llama said, mm, mm, that smells delicious. May I have a little taste of your hay? And the green llama said, uh, no, I am going to eat this hay all by myself. And he spat 
at the blue llama. And the llama, all soaking wet, trotted away hungry. And then the green llama said to himself, hmm, everybody seems to want my hay. I gotta get out of here. I'm gonna go for a walk. So he walked and he walked and he walked with the hay on his back. And he walked and he walked and walked until he walked so far, he ended up in the desert where the sun was beaming hot. And he was so hot that his spit dried up and he could barely talk. Oh, it's really hot out here in the desert. And then he saw a cactus. So he went to sit under the cactus to try to get a little bit of shade to cool him off. But it wasn't really working. The cactus just wasn't big enough. So the poor green llama was thirsty and tired and the heat was just beaming down on him. And then he thought to himself, oh, I really wish I could go home. Oh, this never would have happened if I had just shared my hay with my llama friends. And then along came a unicorn. A unicorn came to the desert and said, Woo, hello there. I am a magical unicorn. Hello, llama. May I grant you any wishes? Because I make wishes come true. And the green llama said, I would like to go home. He could barely speak because he just was so thirsty and parched in the hot desert. And so the unicorn said, well, let me grant one of your wishes to come true. What do you wish for? And the green llama said, oh, unicorn, uh, I really would like to get out of this hot sun. And so the unicorn said, okay, then I shall make your wish come true. And she had created a cloud to create some shade in the desert. Thank you, unicorn, said the llama. And the unicorn said, okay, I will be on my way then. And the green llama said, oh, well, I really also wish that I could go home. And the unicorn said, oh, but green llama, aren't you gonna sit here in the desert and eat all of that delicious hay? And the green llama said, no, I would like to go home and share all of my hay with my llama friends. And the unicorn said, oh, green llama, you are one kind llama. Hop on. And so the green llama hopped onto the unicorn with his big pile of hay and they went home. And there the green llama had found his llama friends and shared his hay with them and they had one big feast all together. And the green llama learned that he would always share with his friends from that day on. The end. Let's move in nature. Let's jump from one line on the sidewalk to the next. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> it's tricky but fun. <laughs> Great exercise. <laughs> I have a masterpiece, yay, for my mantelpiece. This masterpiece is made by Iris, who's four years old from Ottawa, Ontario, Canada. Iris, thank you for sending me this beautiful flower. This is really gorgeous. And I think you might have used watercolor paints to create the original. Am I right on that? It looks like it because of the way 
the paint kind of spreads out and changes colors within the flower petals. I love that. I find watercolor paints really cool to work with. They just blend colors so nicely. So thank you for this. Oh, and I wonder, um, have you seen this flower out on a walk or is it in your garden or did you just imagine it? Because it's really something special. So thank you for this. Iris, I shall add it here to my mantelpiece right behind my candles. There we go. Oh, looks lovely. Thank you again. Please keep sending in your art, your masterpieces for my mantelpiece. You can do so by asking a grown-up to take a picture of your masterpiece and then uploading it at giselmishmash.com. And uh, grown-ups, also, I would love to receive your feedback. If you can please share with me, you can do so by reaching out to me on Instagram or Facebook. And I also always love to receive feedback about my YouTube channel. So please do so. And aside from that, I will see you next week in another video of the Giselle Mishmash here on YouTube. Okay, I'll see you then. I send you a mishmash of love. <laughs> the Giselle